get your picture with that. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Picture handing money. Yeah. Handing yeah. money. Handing money. Yeah. Come on. Oh, okay. Show the payoff here. It's Photo not, ID. It's not real. Look it on the side. You don't have to worry. Should I get the middle of you guys or what? Yeah. Well, you guys got to have that. It actually is. You want to hand me the money? I'll pick it up. That's right. Do I have to give it to Sue first? No. There we are. And build money. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, that's right. Yay. Yay. Good boy, Jerry. Now we go wage war. Why, why are you running for sheriff? I believe the need for a constitutional sheriff in the state of New Hampshire is imperative, especially after what I witnessed out in Nevada. And uh, if the sheriffs do their job, those events won't happen, and I can guarantee they won't happen in the state in which I live, in the county of which, in fact, I'm elected sheriff that I that I uh, represent. What will be different if you're sheriff compared to the What will be different? Uh, oh. The, uh, the Constitution is, is paramount to me, and, uh, and, and we don't, none of our sheriffs in New Hampshire actually signed up to, uh, to be a constitutional sheriff. There's an organization. I'll be the first sheriff in New Hampshire that does do that. Uh, because what happens is we have uh, our law enforcement and people that have actually public servants around forget about their oath of office, especially once they get elected. That won't be me, and uh, and I'll adhere to the oath of office, and we won't step outside of our outside of our constitution, one iota, and that that'll probably be different. And I'm not saying that our sheriff has, but you can rest assured that I won't do that. What does that mean on the ground, though? Well, that means on the ground, uh, say say if uh, like a, we'll use the Bundy experience for an example. As the BLM, the Bureau of Land Management, came into that property, aiming guns at children, grandchildren, women on that property, which they had no legal or, uh, authority to do. What the BLM was supposed to do was go to the lead, to the law enforcement agency, which would have been the sheriff, and then have the sheriff go ahead and, in fact, there was a warrant or something needed to be served, have them do it. But they didn't. They stepped aside, and the sheriff, because of the, the $9 million that he gets in federal grants, set back and allowed that to happen for fear that the federal government would yank its grants. I won't be worried about that. They have that situation in Shreffer County right now. So what does that mean for the average Shreffer County? They didn't have that. They didn't have that situation in, in, uh, in Bunkerville either before the BLM came in on those people. What I will do is I'll be the, the citizen's insurance certificate, that insurance policy that it won't happen here. And that's really what you want your law enforcement to do. It's not to, not to go after crime, but to try to avoid crime happening. You want to, you want to set it up as a preventative measure. And, uh, and certainly I'll be outspoken enough about that. I mean, I love Joe Arpaio, and I'll tell you what, and, uh, and I'll probably be more along the lines of Joe Arpaio as a sheriff, I'd say, if I was going to align with the sheriff of that mentality. So what does it mean for immigration? Uh, it means if you're an illegal immigrant, you're going to be arrested and then given to ICE. Great. Thank you. Yep. Period. <laughs> All right. All right. All right, Dan. Congratulations. Thanks. I hope you win. Hey, how are you? Great. How are you? Well, I'm going to need all the support I can get. We lost this one. Yes. We lost it. Yeah, I, I know we did, but i got to tell you this. Uh, this Karen is, is such an outstanding human being.